This video will show you how to add or subtract unlike fractions. As an example, let's add 5, 6. Two, three, fourths. So to find the lowest common number, you're going to write each number in its factored form, prime factor form. So six is two times three. Four is two times two. So the lowest common denominator, or the LCD as a quick way to say, is going to have two times three times two, which is five. So now that we know this, we're going to multiply. If we look at this, we want to have a 12 in the denominator of both of my fractions. Six times two is 12. If I multiply two times the denominator, I need to multiply two times the numerator. Four times three is 12. So if I multiply three times the denominator, I need to multiply three times the numerator. That will get me 10 over 12 plus 9 over 12. Now they have the same denominator, and I can now add them together. 10 plus 9 is 19 over 12. This is the same process you would do when adding or subtracting any fractions. Here's another example. If I have 5 over 24 minus 7 over 28. So first, let's find the common denominator. 24 in its prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 28 is 2 times 14, and 14 is 2 times 7. So the lowest common denominator has to have 2 times two times two times three, to get the 24 in there. It already has a two times two in there, so we don't need another two times two, but we do need a times seven. So the lowest common denominator in this case is 168. So now I'm gonna build both fractions up to that denominator. So 24 times 7 is 168. So whatever I do in the number, I do the numerator. So I'm multiplying by the number 1. 28 times 3, I'm sorry, times 6, is 168. And again, whatever I do in the number, I must do the numerator. So I end up with 35 over 168 minus 42 over 168. Now, in this case, I'm subtracting the numerator. So 35 minus 42 is negative 7 over that common number of 168. If you notice, 7 does divide in both these numbers. So I can divide both numbers in the numerator by 7 and the denominator by 7. And I now end up with 1, negative 1. Because 7 divided by 7 is 1 over 24. So if you want to reduce it, you can go ahead and do it. One more example. The last thing I want to mention is that sometimes it's important to subtract a fraction from the number 1. So subtracting 4 50 seconds from the number 1, which is 1 minus 4 out of 52. The first thing to do is to realize that you can write any whole number as a fraction by putting it over 1, then find the lowest common denominator. So I can rewrite the number 1 as 1 over 1 minus 4 over 52. 1 isn't a prime number, it isn't a composite number, it's called the identity, so it's just 1 is equal to 1. 
52 is we could write as prime factorization now, but we know we're going to need all of it because one goes into anything. So we can just use 52. So my, I need to multiply one by 52 in the top of the bottom, minus four to 52. That gives me 52 over 52 minus four over 52. And that will get us 48 out of 52.